Hello everyone, Zero Guy Pylon here, and today we're going to be talking about the Simplot 4903-9202. The Simplot 4903-9202 is one of the short-lived Simplot fire alarm devices, and mainly it's because it probably did not comply with ADA. And the reason I'm saying that is because the strobe flashes ridiculously slow at 24 per minute, while the standard strobe are required to flash 60 per minute. What makes this device special is that unlike the rest of the 4903 series, the sticker will usually be in the back, but the sticker is on the top as I just showed a couple of seconds ago. And I don't know why it isn't on the back, but this is the early type. Now all early simple devices from 93 to 94, they do, they do not use one of the standard, you know, star screws. They use one of the Phillips screws and I noticed that because this fire alarm, this right here, used to be a speaker and it's held by Phillips screws. And this device, believe it or not, is from 1993. <laughs> and to prove that, I will show the back right now. There we go. As you can see, this is manufactured in December of 93. Pretty much a month before this one was made. Now, from what I'm knowing, from what my research and looking at all of these 49 this is one of the first 4903 devices ever made in this type of style by Simpla. Mostly the 4903-9101 is a plate combo with the horn, but this is one of the first of its kind. What's strange about it is the back of the device. As you can see, the terminal is set in a weird way. Down here is the horn, up here is the strobe, and the strobe has the plug that you can unplug and plug in. Which is weird, but that's the way they designed it at that time. However, this design will be short-lived as, as you can see why in a couple of seconds. The problem with this design is that you cannot screw any wire to this without unplugging this because there will not be enough room to put the screwdriver in as an example. I will show right now. So as you can see, getting here will be a little difficult. And if I just unplug this and put the wire over here and reach it to here, I should be having no issue screwing, just like that. And when I plug it in, I'll do the same thing again. You see I have a little difficulty trying to get in there. And this doesn't feel right to screw. So it's easier for me to have it unplug. And what makes it worse is that this is flat, while this is Phillips, and I don't know why, but I know that the Simplet 4901-9805 have this kind of design on their early model, and this have not existed yet. And it's because these were their combination before they made the 4903. And that is because these are from 93, well, the device itself from 94. Now, this is not the 93 device, obviously, because this is a Simplex 4904, 9137, and this is for show, just to demonstrate what I mean. But you get the point. But why am I bringing this up? Well, that's because I have another 4903-9202. This is the second generation. The second generation have the normal tournament that we're all familiar with. But the only difference is that the tournament is completely different and it does not look like this. As you can see, there's a sticker here, the strobe, a horn, where they go. And over here, it's set it on the plastic and you got the patent number. And on this design, it's easier to put the wire and the horn together. And as you can see in the sticker, this device is as well produced in 94 and as well as the one over here, 94. The only difference is the day code. This is I.O. while my other 4903-9202 is J.O. If you're doing it in alphabetical order, that technically means that this device is the first one. And I can pretty much guarantee this is first, then this is second. What is also interesting, that the strobe design is actually a little different. Over here, you can see the reflector. 
And the wire that goes to the strobe comes down here. And if you can see, if the camera doesn't blur, there's a cutout. But on this one or whatever, it goes from the top and there's no cut from the bottom. And the, why, the reason why I'm putting out the strobe is because I noticed the strobe, the wires is completely off the way they're originally configured. So I'm assuming this is what Simplot went with first and then they decided to go this way so they don't have to cut off plastic or cut off the reflector just to get the wire going down or maybe make it more effective. And that's my theory, but that's it. Now both of the devices sound the same. The only difference between these two is the sticker, the way the horn is designed, and the way the strobe is designed. And that's pretty much it I gotta talk about the 4903s. And that will include explaining the 4903s, 9202, and basically after maybe a month, this is short produced, it's only produced in January, but the back of the sticker print said it's from July, so I don't know if it's really January or July. This came out, and uh, this is the 9219, and we know this is produced from 94 all the way to 97, and then that will be replaced with electronic horn. So, that's pretty much explaining the 4903s. Without further ado, let's Let's blast both of them. Until then, take care and see you in the next one.